Joining me today, and it's my privilege to share with you, Danielle Jeffrey Elliott, outside of Atlanta, Georgia. Out of an audience of 250,000 agents nationally, we've selected Danielle to be recognized as Broker Agent of the Month for the state of Georgia. And Danielle, I'm so glad you're here with me and congratulations on the honor. Thank you so much for having me, Brian. It's a huge um, opportunity and I really appreciate being a part of this um, group of agents and being recognized in this way. Um, it's a lot of us, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but I, I definitely try to, um, you know, see, see the value in all of this and highlighting with partnering with Broker Agent Advisor and the Faces of. Well, thank you. You're, uh, you're an easy pick for me. You've got a big smile and great energy. I thought, you know, in a short amount of time, maybe we could explore just a couple questions together to give people that watch this a sense for who you are. Of course. Starting with real estate, right? There's a lot of things you could potentially do to make a living and um, curious, what is it that helped you decide that real estate is what you were going to do? Why real estate for Danielle Jeffrey Elliott? Of course. Um, it was more personal for me when I started. My husband and I were in the process of trying to purchase a home and we're immigrants and we didn't know much about how to navigate the home buying process. And we felt like, you know, the professionals that we were connected with, it was more, you know, go fix your credit or do these things, but we never really heard anything. There was no follow up or additional support. And I just thought maybe I should do it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Maybe I should just go be the agent. Um, so that's what I did. I spoke to my husband and he was very encouraging and he was like, yeah, go do it. And then just find our house. So it was very just personal. I wasn't, you know, thinking to help a whole bunch of people. And, um, you know, when I started to figure out what we needed to achieve amongst ourselves to be able to achieve that goal of home ownership, um, I started to help my, my friends, my family. And then it just became word of mouth that I was good at this thing. And here I am. <laughs> Here I am now, but it was very humble beginnings. You know, I, I didn't think of billboards or anything along those lines. I just wanted to help people, you know, as simple as that. Yeah, I, I have found that agents that find and have a long career in this business happily, meaning they enjoy it, it's because they get an immense satisfaction from the, the position they play in it, being able to help others, right? And I've definitely mm -hmm. discovered that as a part of who you are. Yes, yes. So now you have some experience, right? It's not just your house, but you've helped others and managed others through this transaction. What do you love most about this business now that you understand a little bit more about what it is? So for me, it's really bringing that vision to life. Um, it's a tough market to navigate, especially in this environment. And I try to kind of keep hope alive, especially for buyers who feel very discouraged right now. Um, so the most satisfying is definitely helping someone to still hold on to that vision. Yes, it can be done. These are the things we need to do. I understand that you're looking or trying to achieve this in a certain way, but that way was for a different market. Here's what we need to do to survive this environment. Um, keeping them informed, you know, I, I just really love um, seeing it through. Uh, whether it's a sale or for a purchase, they want to get something achieved. And me being an integral part of that journey is very satisfying. That's awesome. Um, you know, it's a competitive industry. There are lots and lots of real estate agents all over the country. But why, why here in Georgia, outside of Atlanta, like what makes this part of the country such a great place to live and work and, and raise a family? So I've noticed, I touched on a little bit that I'm, you know, an immigrant. I'm originally from Jamaica. Um, right. Our motto is out of many one people. And I'm getting a sense of that in Atlanta. Atlanta is a melting pot at this point. Very diverse. So many people are moving here with so many different cultures and their own ways and backgrounds and histories. Meeting people, um, you know, making these great relationships has done wonders for my business. And it's something that you can't ignore being here. Businesses are moving here. Families are just uprooting and moving here. The cost of living is lower and the opportunities are literally endless um, in this city. It just has so much to offer. Um, it's a powerhouse, in my opinion. <laughs> well, as you know, is. we share this market and I couldn't agree more. I grew up in Michigan and have lived all over the U.S. And 
Atlanta is just a, a very, very nice place to raise a family. And, mm -hmm. and, you know, there's lots of great people here in the state of Georgia. Yes. Um, you touched on a little bit the market conditions. You know, the last 18 months, sort of pre-pandemic and this kind of weird, unanticipated, unprecedented inventory shortage has made it really tough for buyers. And it's made it really tough for real estate agents. Frankly, there just aren't as many opportunities as there, there once were. If you were to give one piece of advice to a peer, a fellow agent that may be watching this video, um, based on the experience that you have and what you now know about this business, what would that, that piece of advice be? Um, regardless of what the market is like, even though we know we can't change you know, anything right now, we, we know it's a seller's market, high seller's market, buyers are feeling super anxious. Even if you know the things were to change, always come from a place of value. I am most confident with what I know. Knowledge is power for me. The more I know, the more confident I am. And I know how to position myself accordingly. And, you know, one agent can't change the market, but you can, there, there are still possibilities there. Now I'm in a position where I have to kind of shift my buyers from resale who can't handle the bidding into new construction. And what does that mean? Making great relationships with new construction agents. So you're not attached to a 100, 100 buyer list and you're, you know, 101. They call you, they take up the phone and say, hey, you know, a lot's about to be released. Here's an opportunity. Do you have a buyer? And that kind of ties into relationships. And that's what I'm holding on to a lot is coming from a place of value, building quality relationships, not getting too caught up in the frenzy you kind of have to mellow it out, you know, have a glass of wine at the end of the day <laughs> helps too. Um, but it's, it's still possibilities out there. Um, and so many aspects of real estate outside of just transactional that still um, leaves room for growth. I think that's spectacular. Awesome. That's very, very good advice. <laughs> I, I hope people get just a glimpse of, of why you were selected. It's, uh, it's been a privilege to get to know you a little bit. And obviously we have a unique opportunity to continue to get to know each other through some of the, the ways that we've become connected. But congratulations again on the recognition. I suspect there'll be many more accolades in your future. And, um, and I wish you nothing but huge success the rest of the way. And if I can ever help you with anything, let me know. Thank you so much, Brian. I really, really appreciate it. <laughs> You're welcome.